Greetings all, Fanny here for Aries' Daily Oracle Message. Aries, the first card that came out for you is Slow and Steady. And so as we are, let me just check to make sure I'm having the right dates, yeah. Not including today, we have two days left in this year. And some people might feel like the end of the year is dragging on because they just want the next year to come so that they can have that new opportunity and new beginning. But understand that especially with anything that when it comes to working with spirit it will not happen as quickly as you may like it whatever it is that you're hoping for in the next year whether that be your success romantic stability financial stability your breakthrough traveling abroad let things take time to manifest and come into place as they should because in our mortal vessels we're only working with part of our knowledge of our higher selves Yes, of course, there are practices that we can do, such as meditations, astral projections, and vision walks that we can practice to get more information from our higher selves. But there is only so much that we are allotted to know in this vessel. You have house cleaning in reverse. And it's, a, it's interesting what I'm feeling from that. It's not even like you're not wanting to clean it's it's almost like you're wanting to get rid of everything and that and you also have movement oh it's almost like someone's going to like seriously downsize and go go tiny or do van life or something like that where you could just travel you're not carrying a whole bunch of stuff that's very interesting. I personally love van life and tiny house living. I am obsessed with how beautiful and functional the tiny houses are. Some of the things that they do in vans conversions is incredible. It's one of my dreams to have and build one that is entirely mine. And I look forward to doing it one day. So if this is something that you're thinking about, Aries, something that you're thinking about undertaking, be responsible with anything that you're doing. Do your research to make sure you're using your materials correctly. Don't go anywhere that's too dangerous for you. Make sure that you plan out routes. You have maps downloaded offline in case you are ever somewhere that you can't have access to the internet. You have into the unknown in reverse and come together in reverse. Interesting those being paired together with what we were just talking about with your, that adventure and freedom seeking that it seems like you're wanting to do right now, Aries. Not everyone is going to walk with you. That's sort of what I'm feeling with the into the unknown and come together reverse. There will be turns that your life will take that the people you currently have around you will not want to be a part of for whatever reason that that may be for them. Maybe they just have too much going on in their own personal life and they, they can't come along with you or morally they don't agree with it. I'm not saying that you are immoral Aries. I'm just simply stating that everyone has a different set of priorities. I think because it's at the center of it all, I want you to remember that th everything will happen when it's supposed to. So while the movement you may have in the beginning of 2024 is slow, it is still movement. And I can say from my own experience over this year, is that my movement was slow at the beginning of 2023 and I am so much further and more developed as a business owner as a I hate using the word influencer because that has a lot of connotations but as a reader for you guys as a soul as a person it started off slow but things started picking up and making movements and things started coming in very quickly after a little bit so don't be afraid to take your time because something worth doing is worth taking a lot of time to do because that shows the amount of care and compassion and passion itself for your project or dream or whatever it is. You have the gentle gardener. While you are creating this, while you are bringing whatever it is to the forefront and to reality with the slow, steady movement, 
think positively and consciously over it because the gentle gardener speaks of how very akin to the law of attraction which i say in every single reading is everything that you think say and feel becomes what you fertilize the garden of your life with if you're constantly focusing on the negative things that you have bills coming up that you hate seeing this person at work that the traffic is going to be horrible that will be everything that you get. You're going to keep getting those bills. That person is going to be everywhere you turn and the traffic will be never ending because that is what you manifested because it's everything that you were thinking about. And when we understand the power of our thoughts, the power that our thoughts have to influence our lives, not dictate, but influence. And I kind of feel like that's why the sad embrace card here was at the bottom of the deck. Like, you may feel like, in me saying this, that you have created a lot of the own upset that you've felt in your life. You haven't, darling. You're simply focusing on the wrong thing. And that's why this person is blindfolded in the Into the Unknown card. While they're moving forward following their instincts, they have to take it as it is because their eyes may perceive something that would disrupt or disorient their focus because fight or flight tells us we need to focus on what can hurt us so that we can prevent it from coming back but with law of attraction that actually works against it so what you have to do is consciously focus on what you do have consciously focus on the accomplish accomplishments that you have made this reorients your energy and to be a positive abundant one and in that energy spirit will give you more blessings spirit will give you more aid spirit will give you more knowledge because you're working in alignment with their energy because their energy is abundance their energy is plenty their energy is love and they cannot reach you if you are so deep into the sad embrace of everything that you don't have i understand it would certainly be difficult to switch your mentality like this i'm not saying that it is easy i'm not saying that it was easy when i did this myself i'm saying that it's possible and i'm saying that this movement it is possible this whatever change it is that you're wanting to do what I, whatever wanting to create in your life start making little conscious movements every single day to move towards it even if it's just writing on a vision board what you want to do with it even if it's just thinking about it daydreaming about it drawing it writing a short story about it put your time energy and focus into what it is you want to create in this world and spirit will help give you the tools to make it a reality i promise you my love they will have a beautiful day aries have a great end of the year and I hope you have a lovely new year.